myself with someone else I tried that it was a lonely road And when I see you I get over you I understand I'm a better man Beside you And I can see myself in someone else I tried that it was a lonely road Guess where we are? In a windy place. No, we're not at the entrance. First two guesses don't count. The third guess doesn't count. Actually, it does count. We're at, where are we? Oak Bay Marina. So we're gonna check this area out. And apparently, this isn't home to happy hour. It's home to happier hours. And the wind, gee. So, I'm not sure if this is coming in clear enough, but that is Mount Olympias in uh, Washington State or across the ocean front here. That's the highest peak in Olympic National Forest. And I think they said the fifth highest peak in the state of Washington. I'm not sure. So I think one of the things that will be on my agenda in the next little while is a remote microphone. And uh, I think you guys invested time in watching my videos, so I should invest a little bit in video making. Makes sense, right? Oh, notice there's like a whole plethora of islands out there. Okay, one of the things I do notice in Victoria is um, a lot of affluent vehicles, affluent money. Is that the wording I'm looking for? See, I'm not smart enough to be in this crowd. Um, anyways, they have a Jaguar showing and they got quite a few older models in there too. The 60s, early 50s. And uh, yeah, they're a bit pricier. And you'll see that a lot on the island here. Rolls Royces, uh, a lot of British influence. So you, you also see, see MGs. And I don't see as many uh, in the prairies, for sure, and in other parts of uh, BC, like I do here. Okay, this Jaguar here is getting a bit of an attention and the main fact that it's an older 64 body and basically what they did was put a modern drivetrain on it and or drop the body onto a newer frame. It's got to be uh, probably at least a 2010 frame and you don't see that too much in the Jaguar world because they're pretty proper <laughs> and uh, I'm sure a lot of them complained oh my god you wrecked an old car by modifying it but this is actually a pretty neat deal and I'm sure that thing is about a hundred grand yeah I would say at least a hundred grand because this is the supercharged Jag engine and uh, yeah whoever did this did a really nice job and I'll show you an old engine compared to a, or I'll show you the newer retrofitted design compared to an older design. See, look at the, the interior, they did nice stitching. Huh. And apologize for the wind noise. But, and comparison, an old style, classical, original design. I think the new one looks so much better and at home in there. And wouldn't you know it, a Jaguar painted Ferrari red. Huh, who would have thunk? Someone told me once like, that there was like, a, like a, a butcher, like sort of area of town where, like back in the day where the brewery is. So oh yeah, like, yeah. That's what they used to call it, like Blood Alley, right? So the um, butcher shop, like the, the blood would be like all over the streets and stuff like that. That's so, different like, naming to it anyways. But, but to me it's like a blood orange taste, so... Oh, as you can 
can see, this video is a lot about cars and possibly a part of next video too because there is a lot of car shows and events going on this weekend in Victoria and surrounding area. Bugs are biting. And um, so I'm going to try and take it in as much as I can. And that brings me to the other point. Um, I really want to buy an older vehicle or a hot rod or something. I'm unsure what I really want or maybe a newer Corvette or not a newer Corvette but maybe a mid 80s Corvette or something I'm not sure I'm undecided maybe an Audi A4 I really like the Audis they look pretty hot uh, so do some of the Mercedes convertibles uh, so yeah I don't know what we'll buy who knows you never know with me and the other aspect is I, I, I should probably damn bugs I, I probably should buy a bigger mobile living vehicle like a a tall van or a step van or a box van uh, I, I don't know so we'll see what pops up I guess in my price range that I want um, I will I'll just keep my eyes open and if I see something that interests me I'll video it and whatever and we'll go from there but anyways uh, yeah cheers that's it for this video until uh, tomorrow damn it now I'm welding up from bugs ouch I'm swelling up yeah